Have you ever felt a beat in your chest? Or ever been scared by a loud noise? This is not just hearing sound. This is sound in action. Let's break it down. Hi guys, I'm Claudius Zach John. I'm an audio engineer and a music producer. Today, we'll be discussing about sound. Sound is a form of energy caused by vibrations. Movements back and forth in the midair causes disturbance in the air molecules around you. So what happens here? These air molecules collide with each other and create vibrations again, which help us in hearing. These vibrations get inside our ears and the eardrum vibrates too. And why am I specifying vibrations again? Because vibrations are sound. So these mechanical waves, when it reaches your eardrum, it converts into electrical waves. You might have questions about how an ear can convert mechanical waves into electrical waves. That is how static electricity works. There is electricity in your body. Now, there are three key properties of sound. One is frequency, the other is amplitude, and the third is timbre. So what these three do is interlink sound and music together. We will be looking at this in the next part of this video. So let's talk about the tendency of a human ear. Humans can hear between 20 to 20,000 hertz. We tend to be very sensitive to 2,000 to 5000 hertz because that is where the human speech frequency is. This is how we wake up to loud alarms or remain sleeping when a baby is crying. Everything relates to frequency. Sound needs a medium to travel. Like air, solid, liquid or even plasma like the sun's surface. Sound travels faster in solids than liquids or air. That's just the beginning of sound. I will be talking more about this and relating it to music in the upcoming video. Stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe.